Hello everyone and welcome to the very first Pokemon TCG online stream, recording, whatever you want to call it. I'm Daniel, one of the hosts from the Reasons I'm Broke podcast. Some of the Brocat subscribers know me from there where we do discuss uh, comics, movies, TV, video games, and more. But this is something new we're trying. I will try to get Kelly on one of these recordings in the future. But for now, this is kind of a trial. It's been a little rough trying to get this to record and stream, but let's see what kind of luck we have today. As always, check your daily bonuses when you log on to Pokemon TCG Online. It is a free program. All you need is an email account and make up a username. And then you just download the program. It is available on both Mac and PC. We're going to go ahead and try to run some online versus ranked matches. I did get into the Psychic decks. I used to play back when it was Guard of War, Level X, all that stuff. And then when I saw that Phantom Forces was going to focus on Psychic Pokemon again, that's when I jumped right back in, saw the Gengar EXs and the Chandeliers, and I'm like, all right, let's go ahead and make a deck and get started. As you can see, I've already made my avatar and pretty much give away what kind of deck I'm playing. <laughs> Hopefully we have some luck with this. I know we've had some matches in which we drop out due to, due to inactivity, but let's see what we can do this time. If you see the sidebar here, right where the, the Reasons I'm Broke logo is, you'll see the other logos as well. Those are the other programs we have on nerdupmedia.com. That's where we offer Let's Plays, other podcasts, comic book reviews from The Read Pile, Those Two Jerks, Lazy Gaming Guys. It's all available to you at nerdupmedia.com. We are also up on Twitter at Reasons I Am Broke. You can find that at the very bottom here. Go ahead and follow us on there. Let us know what you thought of the recording or if you want to do, if you have any tips on what we can do to make this work a little bit better. But for now, this is more of a trial and see how this goes. So it looks like we did start off with a Gengar EX. I love that full art Gengar. It looks like he's humping the air. So let's see what we're going to go up against and I guess try to hump this Pokemon that's out there. Love this art. That is my favorite artwork for Gengar. Pretty much my favorite Gengar card right next to that shiny one that they offered in Japan in which it was the Mega Gengar. Uh, oh, look at that. Already playing a fighting stadium and the Nen. So we're going to have a completely brand new hand. We do get this Rock Guard, which I absolutely adore. But to any new players, I know some of the Brocats out there uh, kind of moved on over and they knew that this they hadn't played this before. So basically what we want to do is we want to either knock out all of the opponent's Pokemon, that's when the game ends, when they have nothing to defend themselves with, or get all of our prizes down here on this side. So it is our turn. Let's go ahead and do a draw three card with the supporter, which we can only play one per turn. And we do get some energy cards. We still don't have any basic Pokemon. We do want to protect this Gengar, though. So for now, I am going to attach a Psychic Energy to Gengar EX. And then probably this Rock Guard. That way, in case he does try to attack with the Stunfish, Stunfisk, then I will, they will take some damage as well. So I don't see... Let's see. Let's go ahead and do that. Let's go ahead and attack the Stunfish. And it doesn't look like he can do too much. I do have a resistance to fighting by 20. This, of course, gives him a little bit of boost as that special energy card. But they do take three damage counters. They are down to 70 hit points. So this fighting stadium also helps them out a lot. Uh, hopefully we will be able to play ours, which is a uh, another Dimension Valley. So this one, it actually increases their damage if it is a Pokemon EX, which this Gengar is. Uh, looks like what they did is they attached over to this Pokemon out here. Tried to build that up. I don't think... Okay, so they're going to switch that over with that card. Gives them a, a free switch. Let's see what else they try to get. We do have this Great Ball down here we got to work with, so hopefully we'll get a basic Pokemon. If not, we'll at least get the draw three and hopefully try to get one from there. Because it looks like they're already building up quite the arsenal over there. And they do 30. Oh, looks like that Rock Art knocked out. That Pokemon, I don't know if they knew that that was going to happen because of the Rock Guard, does 60 damage anytime you try to attack the Pokemon that the Rock Guard is attached to. And they only had 60 HP on that one, so that's why it knocked it out. It's a great card. We do get the Mega Gengar EX. We don't want to use that, of course. We do want to get some more energies and, more importantly, get some Pokemon out here. But first, we're going to go ahead and raise our chances of actually getting a Pokemon by using the Professor's Letter. That lets us search for two basic energy cards, which we're going to go ahead and search for. So that's two, ba two less energies that are going to be in the deck. So now when we play the Great Ball, there's a greater chance that we'll find a Pokemon here. And we do. We find the Litwick. So we do have a basic now. Let's go ahead and put him down. And we still can play a supporter this turn because we haven't done so yet. 
no Dimension Valley, unfortunately. But we do get the Rare Candy, we do get the Chandelier. That's awesome. I'm going to save one of these Mystery Energies for one of those guys. But for now, we're going to feed Gengar one more time. We're going to do the Night Attack and actually... Let's go ahead and do it on the Stunfisk. But since he is close to being knocked out, one more attack will do it right after this turn. And now it's the opponent's turn. So in the meantime, as we keep an eye on what they are doing, I do plan on doing a Rare Candy on the Litwick, which lets you skip the middle form and go straight into the Chandelier. That's a gorgeous card. Love that Feigning spell. Hopefully we'll see it in action today. So they do attach a Focus Sash. So that's very useful to something like this. But if we can attach it... Oh, okay, so they moved it. They moved it over to this guy. So let's see what happens. Maybe they will be spared from the Rock Guard. I'm not sure. Nope, they weren't. Look at that, because it wasn't from an actual attack. It was actually from the card, so they, they're they pretty much killing themselves and just doing some damage to the Gengar EX. Yep, they go at, they went ahead and conceded the match because the, most of the Pokemon only had 60 HP. So that's good for us. Let's go ahead and get our prize, which is a tournament ticket. Hopefully in the future we'll be able to run some of those tournaments and enter them. We do get three of the Pokemon coins as well, which we can use and redeem at the shop. That was great. That was an awesome first match. Let's go ahead and use our Nerd Up Media deck and go for another round. So far, so good. Uh, we're having good luck with the program, and everything's working just fine. Again, thank you all so much for watching and for tuning in. If you're a longtime listener or watcher of the unboxings or the podcast, uh, otherwise, if you're brand new, uh, if you want to go ahead and hit that subscribe button at the top right-hand corner, you'll see the Reasons I'm Broke logo on it. And, of course, check out NerdUpMedia.com. Hopefully, if you're into comic books, video games, that podcast... It is a lot of fun. Kelly and I have a lot of fun doing it. That's uh, my wife, and hopefully we can get her on one of these. So look at that. We got two Gengars already. We got the Humping the Air Gengar, and we got the Poking, the other Pokemon in the Eye Gengar. So let's go ahead and use the Professor's Letter. Oh, look at that. They started off with the Toxic Croak EX. That's awesome. It does have a weakness to us uh, times two, but I don't... Unless I draw a Dimension Valley, that's not really... We can't really get some damage on him quite yet. But let's get our two Psychic Energy cards. So, let's see, do we get that Dimension Valley? No, we do not, but we do get a Litwick, which we can evolve later on. Let's go ahead and do the Versus Seeker. Let's us get that uh, Charon back. I think that's how you pronounce it. Oh, we do have a Double Colorless, so this could be good later. We don't want to attach it right away. We don't want to let them know that we have that Double Colorless. But we did go first, so we cannot attack on our first turn. So it is their turn. Let's see what they can pull off. If we can attach this Double Colorless and put it onto Gengar, then we can actually do double the damage on this Toxic Croak. In the meantime, next turn I will be able to evolve the Litwick into the Lampent. Let's see what he ended up attaching. He is feeding the Toxic Croak, and looks like that is all he can do. We, ooh, we got a Malamar EX. That is a tough one. Okay, so let's go ahead and draw our three using that supporter card that we just had. Another Professor's Letter. Let's get two more energy cards. Great. We still don't have that Dimension Valley that I wanted. But we can, let's see, we have a number of options here. Let's go ahead and go straight to the uh, Chandelier, and we're going to Rare Candy the Litwick into that Chandelier straight up, and hopefully we'll get some Mystery Energies later on, so we get that free retreat cost when we do put them in. But for now, let's go ahead and do that Rare Candy onto Litwick, get him out in case that Malamar decides it wants to attack. Um, let's go ahead and choose the Chandelier. There it is, Confirm. Now we're going to get that Versus Seeker and get that draw three right back so we can use it next turn. So essentially I'm drawing four cards every turn, which really speeds up the deck. And that's what I love about this deck, uh, which is actually a reflection of what I use at Pokemon League. Um, there we go. So double damage. They are poisoned. And let's go ahead and put out... Let's see, they have 50 damage. So let's go ahead and put out the... Put out the Gengar in case we want to do some, some bench damage to the Malamar. I do want to save that chandelier and actually build it up. So let's pull out that full art Gengar. It looks like it is uh, lagging a little bit. And we do know that they're poisoned, so they do take 10 damage. So they're down to 40 hit points. And that's for new uh, new players to the game. 170 is right there. This is all the damage. They're down to 140. So let's see what they're doing. So they're going to get some basic Pokemon with the Pokemon Fan Club card. In the meantime, so we do have these two draw threes that we'll be able to do. They do get another Malamar and another Toxic Croak. Wow, look at that. So those things, the dark types are super effective to the Gengar EX, as you can see right here is the weakness times two, and it looks like they did put me to sleep by attaching that energy on the Malamar. 
basically a flip in between turns. Oh, and they're going to switch. So it looks like they're going to go for the knockout on Gengar. All right, so they did not get that. Wow, look at that. And I am awake. Okay, so we got really lucky there. They did zero damage because they got two tails. Do have the Mega Gengar Spirit Link. Uh, let's go ahead and put it on this Gengar just in case we need to start. Oh, they can see to the match. That's <laughs> kind of weird. I don't know. That's, sometimes that happens. All right, we got another tournament ticket, and we got a Pokemon coin. And let's let's do another one. We're we're doing pretty good so far in the ranked matches here with our Nerd Up Media deck. We'll name it something different later on. And I do want to get a brand new deck box. I don't know really. Oh, look at that. That's a pretty cool outfit. I don't know how you can. They're also playing Psychic, where you can get new deck boxes as far as the game goes. But we do have that beta box, and we do have these black and white sleeves, which are okay, but. You know, hopefully later on we can get some Gengar sleeve to go with the rest of the deck. Looks like we start off with a Litwick. No Gengar EX this time. I don't have a lot of basics in this deck, so I do end up having to redraw a number of times. But the upside to that is I do end up with something I do want, like the Litwick or the Gengar EX like we did in that last game. So let's see what they put out first. Looks like it's still, oh, Mewtwo EX. That is insane. All right, so it looks like this might be a short match. But either way, we're not going to give up. I do want some basics, so let's go ahead and do Shauna. We do get that Gengar, and so with a little bit of luck, maybe we'll be able to um, get some more basics out and get some more trainers. This will help the Charon and then, of course, the Shauna in case we need to redraw a new set of cards. Remember, we can only use Uverbank City Jam. Okay, that basically, two damage counters in between turns for boy Poison Pokemon instead. So that will be good for my Gengar. However, it, I, I do like my Dimension Valley better. He's going to do the X ball, and it looks like that will do seven. Yeah, that 20, 48. Wow, look at that. One hit knockout. So if we didn't have that Gengar EX, that would have been game because that would have been my last Pokemon. Regardless, though, this is still not, we're not in the best position right now because that Gengar does take quite a bit of energy to get started. So let's go ahead and draw three, see what we get. Maybe some basics, maybe a double colorless, maybe that Dimension Valley. Let's find out here uh, if we actually draw the three. <laughs> Again, like I said, we did have some technical difficulties with this earlier. Uh, do I want the special energy? Let's go ahead and save that for now. Let's go ahead and put that on Gengar. We're going to do the Night Attack and put the three damage counters on Mewtwo EX. Oh, let's see, did we do it? There we go. So that will put him down to... So he's, he's got 170 HP, brings him down to 140. Even though he is weak to Psychic, because this doesn't actually have a damage number next to the attack of Night Attack, it doesn't do the double damage, unfortunately. Hypnotoxic Laser, that is going to hurt. We are asleep and poisoned now. If I don't flip a heads in between turns, Gengar can't do a thing unless I have some kind of card to switch, which I do not in this deck. So they are going to do 100 damage. I'm awake, however, I do, I'm do. i down to 40 HP. That's all I have going for me, guys. Uh, I played Dimension Valley, which isn't going to help me too much. I don't have a double color list that we can use to actually attack the, gang, the Mewtwo EX, which wouldn't have knocked him out anyway, although if I kept... It, it's, it's tough right now. <laughs> uh, let's go ahead and attach another energy. I think this might be game, although I can. Uh, let's go ahead and do uh, Mega Gengar and see if we can prolong this a little bit. If not... I think that is going to be game, though. And we can jump into maybe a game three. And so far, so good. We got one win, and it looks like this will be the loss for today. And possibly, hopefully, we'll have another win next game. In the meantime, I do want to talk about the energy retrieval. This helps a lot. I don't put a ton of energies in this deck because of cards like this. That lets me get those two energies that I may have used or something that may have been knocked out. So there's that defeat. And instead, it leaves me more room for any other trainers, any other Pokemon. So we do get a Pokemon coin, plus two. That was a three-minute match. Let's go ahead and jump right back in. We're going to do Standard, of course, not the Expanded or Unlimited. Obviously, can't be a theme because it is a custom deck. So we're just going to keep playing Standard. In the future, you know, we can do some tournaments. That will take a little bit longer since those rounds do run, depending on how long they last. So they have fighting types, which are very common right now, especially after Furious Fists. You see a lot of the Pokemon that attack twice. Actually, it's just the one, but if you go to any Pokemon League, you're going to see that kind of deck being played. Uh, we do have a resistance to fighting, which does help us out a little bit. But for now, let's see what's going to happen here. We're going to get a game started. Yep, so let's see who goes first. 
Uh, she's going to choose if she wants to go first, which most likely she will. Yep, let's see what basics we have. We do have a Gengar that we can start off with. We do have a Rock Guard and a Rare Candy, so we can get a Litwick out there. We'll be in good shape. Double Colorless and the Mr. Energy. This is not bad at all. Not, not a bad start. They start off with the Groudon, which we've seen before. Groudon Spirit Link, which will let them Mega Evolve into the Groudon, Mega Groudon Greeno. Okay, so that's probably what they're going to look for. They attach a fighting. Oh no, they got a Landris. Okay. And hopefully we can get some basics out there. They are weak. He is weak to grass, so that's not really in our favor, but we do have that resistance in spite of any muscle bands that they have. At least that helps out a little bit. Don't think they can attack this turn. Obviously, it's their first turn, so they won't be able to. So let's go ahead and try to get a Litwick once it comes out over to our turn. Uh, we are poisoned. There's that hypnotoxic laser that we saw in the last game. Not asleep, but we are poisoned. So you see, you're gonna, we're going to run into those a lot if we do any more of these streams or recordings. All right, here we go. Let's see what we got. We do have a Shauna. We got the Rock Guard. That helps. And we do have that color, double colorless energy. It's going to attach the Rock Guard. And let's do a... Oh, man, that poison. Let's do a Psychic Energy on Gengar EX. He only has one on there for the coin of head, so that could hurt us if it if if it ends up being uh let's not get rid of that yet. I'm gonna I was gonna Shauna, but I'm gonna hold off. And let's do the night attack and attack the Grudon EX for the 30 damage. Uh, it does give me the choice between Landorus and Grudon, but I'm gonna go for Grudon and try to take him out since Landorus is not as big of a threat right now. He's not powered up quite yet. It looks like they're going to focus on getting that Groot on and having it turn into a Mega Form. They do put out the Robo Substitute, buys them some time, which they don't need right now. They're they're in really good shape. Uh, we got the 20 damage from the poisoning from that Hypnotoxic Laser. If they do attack, that will do 60 damage to the Groot on EX, as we've seen, which is really helpful. I do like to save those for the Chandeliers because of that Feigning spell. That's kind of my tank. Just take all that damage. If it's knocked out, you may be knocked out. In the meantime, you take that Rock Guard, but that's not working out in this case. So I do take the Poison Damage. They do they do attack, so they do take 60 damage. We're down to 130. And we still are not getting the base. Oh, and they got the head, so they got rid of our energy. So here's what we're going to do. Let's go ahead and put out that Double Colorless on Gengar. Let's try to get some basic Pokemon. We do get the Dimension Valley, which does help us out. Uh, in case they do end up discarding, we can at least start attaching some Psychic cards, and it uh, looks like we're just going to have to Night Attack. He's down to 90, so let's go ahead and put that on Groudon, because if he decides to attack us, that's going to be a knockout for Groudon, unless he can get that Mega Groudon out there. So let's see what she does. We're still, we still have 120. looks like they don't have enough energy yet to knock us out. If they do attack again, they will be knocked out, and all they'll have is the Landorus and the Robo Substitute, which is probably what they're going to put out. And we're still hurting from that poisoning. I do want to switch out this Gengar. Hopefully we can get there, but we don't have any basics. So it's it's close. It, it could be could go either direction. And uh, again, don't forget to add us on Twitter. Follow us on there, at Reasons I'm Broke. We put up a lot of pictures for comic books, superhero news, and they do play that Professor's Letter, Pokemon cards as well, because we do love Pokemon. We love Batman, especially DC Comics, all of that stuff. I really can't wait to get Kelly on one of these recordings. She's a lot of fun. Check her out on the podcast. She does every single episode and with an occasional break, depending on if we're out of town or if I have a special guest on the podcast. But in the meantime, this is awesome. Having a lot of fun doing the stream. And let's see if they decide to attack. Again, that will be two prizes for us if they do decide to, because that is a, a Groot on EX for any new players. We get two prizes if it's knocked out, which they ended up getting another one by using this Ultra Ball. And let's see what else they do. Will they attack or will they just let me die slowly from poisoning? Which would, would buy us more time. And actually we would be able to attack then with the Dark Corridor, which would be helpful. Wouldn't be able to switch and get rid of the poisoning, unfortunately, unless we get uh, Tierno or something that'll help us get some basic Pokemon, hopefully raise our chances on that. So they decide to attach it to the Landorus. Let's see if they attack with the Big Claw. Maybe they're not paying attention to the Rock Guard. Okay, so they ended up switching. That's very interesting. So they know that, that they couldn't attack with that. All right, so each basic Pokemon has no abilities. Hopefully we can get another Dimension Valley out there and get Gengar going. Focus Sash. 
So that helps him out. This does not have a weakness to Psychic, just to Water. We're going to play some more Trainer cards. Uh, let's see, this thing's 60 away. He's obviously at full blast at 180. So it looks like we're going to focus. There's that Primal Grudon. Look at that. They can evolve that right away, and that'll get them a ton of HP, which they can probably then switch out, do the Primal Grudon, build that up, and then we're goners. <laughs> But let's see what happens. We we still don't have any basic Pokemon that, that could change the game a little bit. They're playing that Professor's Letter. Look at that. Their deck's already down to 30. Ours is still up at 44. Not where I like to be. Always like to draw as much as possible early on. But let's see if we can get some cards quickly. Because it looks like all we're drawing are some energies. We play that Dimension Valley. So what do they do here? It looks like... Um, Shout of Power? Yeah, I'm not sure. I saw a little zero here, so... Not entirely sure what they played, but let's see what happens. Yep, looks like... Okay, so there we go. Uh, ooh, nothing, 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 nothing here. Uh, let's go ahead and attach that Mystery Energy now. Do the Dark Corridor, that's all we can do. Does 60, they're poisoned as well, but we're down to 100 damage. They have their one energy away from being able to power up that Groot on EX, which is probably what they're going to do. Switch out, that's what I would do. There it is. Switch out the Landorus for that Grudon. There it is. And the Knockout for the game on this one. <laughs> they even went ahead and Mega Evolved into the Primal Grudon EX, which does 200 damage to Gengar EX. That is amazing because there's a Stadium card in play. It does discard it, but regardless... Okay, so it did 180 because of the resistance, but there's that defeat. Like we said, let's see what we get here. Maybe we'll get a ticket, maybe some more coins. One coin... That's all right. We got two as well for playing. And one more. Let's see if we can end on a win. 718 coins so far total. Haven't really figured out what I wanted to spend it on. That is awesome. Love that mustache. Oh, they got dark types. Oh, man. <laughs> this is going to be a rough one. All right. Well, let's see what happens. Start off with a Gengar. Poke you in the eye. Gengar EX. We do have a Mega Gengar as well. Professor's Letter. More energies. Let's see what they put out. And uh, let's see, let's see, let's see. We'll do that Curem and a Pawnyard. Let's go ahead and do the Professor's Letter, get two energy cards. There they are. Attach one to Gengar. Uh, we did go first, so we cannot attack, but he's at least ready for the Night Attack, which I'm probably going to try to attack the Pawnyard with, because that thing is going to be double effective against my Gengar EX. So let's see what they do. I um, wouldn't be surprised if we saw uh, Malamar. Uh, they put down Anivalto. Those things are common. Yeah, you see those all the time. Very tough cards to fight against. So we are fighting an uphill battle here. All right, another energy. That does not do us any good. We have plenty. Let's attach it to Gengar. Maybe we'll get it to Dimension Valley next turn. But now we can attack. I am... Let's see. Those 30 for each damage counter in this Pokemon. So that's... Those 30 to each of opponent's Pokemon. So I'm not going to go ahead and help him out by attacking that. I'm going to try to get rid of this Evolto. So let's go ahead and start attacking that because that thing is going to be powered up soon. And that's bad news for our Gengar EX. Not yet a Mega Gengar. So we poke the Evolto in the eye. Down to 100. And hopefully we can get... Let's see, even then... Okay, so do 20 damage. Doesn't do much because they don't have damage counters on them. Another energy card. No bueno. But... Oh, man. So what's this one? We can do... If I do evolve it into Omega Gengar, Glacier, that's 30 to each of the opponent's Pokemon. That's actually really helpful. You know what? Let's go for it. Mega Evolve. Oops. Let's uh, go back and cancel that. Uh, we attach the energy. Mega Gengar. Yes, we do want to Mega Evolve it, which immediately ends our turn because we do not have a Gengar Spirit Link on us right now. But that will put the Gengar up to 220 HP. Phantom Gate, we have to choose one of our opponent's Pokemon attacks. The reason I went with this is because I'm only doing 30. If I did 60, then he's way powered up with this Outrage. But this Glassy Eye attack that I can use would do 30 on each of the opponent's Pokemon, which would be useful. In the meantime, until we can actually get some basic Pokemon, which was our problem in the last game, unfortunately. We're just not getting those trainer cards, which help us search for those Pokemon. So they do 20. Not a big deal. Professor's Letter. So let's go ahead and minimize 
the chances of drawing even more energies by just getting two of those out of the way from this deck. We've got 41 cards left. Right after this Professor's Letter, we'll have 39. So let's get those. We don't need to put any more energies on Gengar. That's all we can do. Let's go ahead and do that Phantom Gate. What are we going to do? We can knock it out immediately. Flip a coin of tails. This Pokemon can't attack during my next turn. Oh, man. What do I want to do? Get rid of it immediately. Tatcha, that's 30. Does 10 damage for each damage counter. So 20, 30, 40, 50, 60. Not quite enough for the QRM. Let's go ahead and do... All right. Let's do Glaciite. Let's, let's play it a little bit safe here. 30 in all their Pokemon including the Evolto, which I was trying to get rid of. If I do that again next turn, that'll get rid of the Ponyard. Unless, of course, it evolves. So, let's see what he drew. Poke Bestia is the name that of the player we're playing. Hopefully, as we do more of these, we'll start playing some of you out there. We'll see how it goes. Uh, one of my friends, he actually has a show here on YouTube called the Purple Swordfish Show. You can check him out if you go to our YouTube channel, and then we have a little partners and friends section on there. He does a lot of Let's Plays. Almost every day he puts up a video. A lot of Madden stuff, really cool stuff, and he's done videos where he plays a couple of his viewers, and it looks like a blast. So there we go. All right, still no basic, but we do get this. Okay, finally, we do get the Great Ball. Let's do the Humping in the Air Gengar. Start building that guy up. There we go, and... Even if he is knocked out, we do have this guy waiting. Let's go ahead and do another Phantom Gate attack. And what do we want to use? We can do the 30 again and start adding more damage to the rest of these guys. We can knock out the Curum immediately, maybe. Let's see, 100, because this does uh, Outrage does 10 for each damage, count of 20, 30, 40, 50, 20. So yeah, let's do Outrage and, and just destroy it. Get rid of that Curum finally, but this, we do have this Evolto coming up. They will bring that out. Uh, Darkness Blade is probably what they're going to go with. That's 100 damage, which would be, would be 200 because of the Phantom, because of the weakness on Gengar EX. I could have done another 30 on there, uh, knocked this guy out, done a little more damage on the Evolto, but I'm feeling okay right now with this Gengar EX. Let's see what they decide to do. They do put this guy out. Um, there it is. The Oblivion. No, Darkness Blade. It's going to do 200 dam damage to our Mega Gengar, which will give them two prizes. They're down to 70. Okay, so hopefully we draw a double colorless. What, what was that? If Tails, this Pokemon can't... Oh, okay, so they got, they got that heads. So unfortunately, that does not help us any. It might be game. <laughs> Let's see what we got. Draw three. And hopefully it's a double colorless. It'll be something, maybe a basic energy or a basic Pokemon, which I guess I should have used the Pokemon Fad Club for instead. Uh, but we do get some regardless, and we get the Dimension Valley, and we get the Litwick. We do have the Rare Candy. We do have the Lamprint ready to go. Uh, we do have some basic energies we can get back with Energy Retrieval. Let's go ahead and do that. A couple of mistakes we've done today, but that's all right. Having fun with this. That's the main thing. All right, so... Okay, what do we want to do? What do we want to do? We do want to poison this Evolto and try to do that. Um, if anything, they'll knock out the Litwick next turn, which I think I'd be okay with, because we don't even have a Chandelier. So let's do that. Dark Corridor. Won't do... Oh, it does do 60, so it doesn't have the... Oh, that's going to knock him out with the poisoning. So let's put out... Let's put out... Let's put out Gang... No, no, no. Yeah, let's put out Gengar. Let's do that. We get our prize for knocking out Evelatol. Let's see what they put out. Uh, so this is pretty good, actually. Not too bad, not too bad. A really good position now. They don't have any energies on this guy. He's 20 away. We could choose to knock him out with the Night Attack next turn. Obviously, we're going to evolve Litwick, make him a little bit stronger. I may go for the Pokemon Fan Club and start getting some more benches. All they did was attach. All right, so it's Lampert. We'll save the Evo Soda for next turn so we can get the Chandelier. Pokemon Fan Club, let's get some more Gengars on this bench. What do we have? Oh, <laughs> two of them are in the prizes, so we're going to go with Litwicks. Team of Litwicks, a bunch of candles. Oh, do I want to do the special energy now? I do have an extra one. I do want to put one on Chandelier here, that way I can switch out 
Uh, actually, let's do this. We're going to put the mystery energy on him. This gives us the free retreat cost. Normally, you have two right here. I would have to discard two energies on him. But with this mystery energy, I don't have to do that. It actually reduces it by two. So we retreat for free, send out this Gengar, which is all ready to go because it has the two energies. We used them before. Humping in the air Gengar is going to go right after the Zorak and hump it. So <laughs> let's do the attack here. It does have a resistance of 20, so it's only going to do 40 damage. All right, so if this actually goes, Dark Corridor, 40 damage, and switch back to that Gengar. He is poisoned, down to 50. Still have this one, four prizes left, 20 hit points on Ponyard left. They are going to attack with the Dark Rush. Does 20 times. Ooh, that's going to hurt. That is going to knock out Gengar EX. But next turn, we'll be able to finish it off with it one more Dark Quarter. They do get two prizes. Let's see what happens here. We're going to choose Gengar EX. All right, Evo Soda, Chandelier, put it on the Lampert, and we have two energy, so we're going to put this Mystery Energy on Chandelier. We're going to do the Charon to draw three. Let's see what we get. Maybe we'll get another one, and we can Rare Candy it up. And we'll finish this guy off. We do get a double colorless energy, dark corridor. Put that on him. Free retreat cost chandelier. And that will knock out Zorak. We get our prize. They're down to one. Chances are they will concede the match at this point. Even though, I mean, they're just two prizes away from winning. All right, 20. Do Evo Soda. So we're going to evolve it into Pawn Yard. So that's going to buy them a little bit of time. No, that's game. They're going to concede. Uh, so because we got double colorless, draw it, put it on him. Chandelier, curse drop for the game. There it is. Victory. We ended on a win. Really good. A uh, bunch of matches. Definitely better than the first time we tried to do a recording on this. Looks like we get a tournament ticket. So in the future, we can try to run a tournament and stream that next. We do get a Pokemon coin. So that was a lot of fun. You saw how the deck worked. We'll do some more of these in the future. Uh, once again, you can get this program for free online, Pokemon Trading Card Game Online, Pokemon.com, and you can get some free booster packs simply from playing and earning those coins. You can spend them. Of course, you can use real money if you'd like. But otherwise, just keep playing games, play online, play with friends, get those coins, and get more booster packs. Thank you so much. Don't forget to subscribe by clicking on the Reasons I'm Broke logo at the top right-hand corner for future videos on the podcast, Let's Plays, unboxings, and more. Thank you very much for watching. I'm Daniel, and we'll see you on the next one.